Hello guys, uh, welcome to class for today. On today's class, we are looking at how to service this carburetor. This carburetor is the carburetor for the generator on your screen and for generator of similar make as well. This particular carburetor can only be 40 or rather carburetors can only be 40 when your carburetor is dirty. You get then at that point you will notice your generator doesn't come on in some cases and in other cases it comes on but it's working fluctuates what i mean by that is when it works it jacks it fluctuates the working is not continuous one thing i do first while servicing the carburetor is to first of all wash the body of the carburetor i always like my carburetor on it so the first thing to do is to wash the body of the carburetor with a brush the need for that is to take off all that after washing the carburetor's body one thing you do next is to uh, lose this cup okay this is usually a 10 knot so you lose the cup out lose the trick of the chamber the floating chamber and then take off the pin then another thing that is of a necessity is to take off this foil jet there's a foil jet inside take it off that's the number one of it first one is out then there's something else inside you take it off which is this you can if you notice carefully you notice this is dirty so we're going to clean it very well so what we've successfully done so far is to take off all the components in this part of the carburetor so that the carburetor is bare and we can see through another thing you do is to take these off <coughs> this rubber um what i call it screw somehow connects to the glove door and it helps in adjusting the speed of the generator okay after taking that off we take this off from this spot so what we've done now is to make the carburetor bare all right so first step we took out everything second step now is to true all holes in the carburetor there is one thing you need to know about the carburetor. A carburetor is built so that it can allow for metered fuel to go in to your engine. So this metered fuel can only happen when there are a lot of pores in your carburetor. And some of these pores, you can see them. One of these pores is this. If you check this particular part, there's a hole here. It has its own peculiar function. There's another here, it has its own peculiar function. There, okay. If I forget, let me quickly take this off. I should take this off as well. This is responsible for adjusting your fuel consumption. I have a video on this I've shot already. I think we've uploaded it already. You can go check it out. I will drop the description of the video in the comment section. Okay, so as I was saying. What we do in this second step is to make sure we threw all the pores in the carburetor, starting with this one. So any pore we see in the carburetor, it is necessary we threw it. So as a beginner, I advise you to do that. in this thoroughly to so take off all that okay next thing is to true or pause very very important as a non-technician this is the best way to understand how to service a carburetor okay see 
this pore here connects to this so to the internal part so pumping foil take foil out of this out of this part so it's necessary you clean all the pores thoroughly thoroughly so While you are doing this, it is advisable you are use you used a very a very thick string. A very very thick string. It's advisable you use it just like I'm using now. For emphasis, I'm using a clutch cable for this practical. So if you can get access to a clutch cable, it's very much accepted as well. Okay, still cleaning all the pores available in the generate in the carburetor. Okay, you can see all pores are connected and doing this will successfully through all the pores. Okay, good. We are done with this guys. We've watched this very well. The next step is to work on those stuff we we took out from the carburetor earlier how do we work on them you notice i said this particular one was dirty okay you clean it as well okay clean it properly Then another thing you do this tiny pause make sure you you clean them individually this is very necessary these are the pores very very tiny okay very very tiny make sure you clean them individually okay we've cleaned them individually and we keep them at one point just so we wash everything first before we couple and then you wash it as well which is very very necessary okay same applies to this okay so if you have watched this very point you would observe that what i did was to take out all the component to make it easy for me to to properly clean take out all the component then clean them individually okay you clean this properly there's a pore here good that has been properly cleaned as well up next you wash this carefully you wash 
and then every other component goes in as well any component without pour just need a little wash and what do you do next with this i will simply wash this but there's something that most people do not notice when they are on this um, chamber this four chamber what they don't notice is this this thing is always light it's always very light whenever you notice it's quite heavy please kindly check to see if there's fuel or any liquid inside of this because at some point if you notice that this particular chamber has a lot of liquid or has liquid at all probably because there's a tiny hole where this fuel penetrates into this chamber you have to change this otherwise your generator will not work one of the faults that may exist from this having issues is that your generator will overflow overflow continuously so it is necessary you take cognizance of the quality of this before fixing back so looking at this now is of top quality so i'll just kindly and simply wash it a little then clean this up and then clean up the cup which already looks good in my opinion just clean it up so no dirt goes in what you do next is to couple that's what we do next we washed it and then we couple just like we've loosed earlier okay that done we've done that next we fix this which is used for adjustment of the um, petrol consumption you fix it like i always say when doing this you take it to the right and tighten it you tighten it then after that you lose it for about two three or four times okay and then what do we do next this particular jet we lose and clean up we fix it back okay fix it back okay another thing we do now is to fix this up again just like we've lost it and the next thing we do is to connect this pin to this chamber this to this chamber and then fix it in Ray was succeeded in servicing our carburetor. One thing I do regularly after servicing a carburetor is to check for overflow tests to see if the carburetor will overflow when the gen when the carburetor is mounted to the generator. But before I mount it, I always do this. Okay. I take it up to see if it will take off if fuel will come out. But you notice for is not coming out that shows the flow chamber this um, foil chamber and the carburetor is very much functional and the last thing i do is to simply couple before i couple i always make sure the gasket this um, gasket is always by the side because if you couple without this being in place your foil will just leak out this is how to service your carburetor i hope you've learned something today if you've learned something please do well to subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell so when other videos are posted you are among the first to see them join our membership class and ask as many questions as you want with just a token we'll meet in our next class guys take care